Hi all, it's Gav here from dartscommunity.com and very soon, well in the next half an hour, we've got the Grand Slam of Darts Day 2 starting, so getting all ready for that and I want to do another predictions video. For you that see my one yesterday, I can't bloody believe it, I wish I'd have put some money on them. I got, I think I got five correct scores um, right, which, which I, I just wish I'd have had a bet on it really. So, I'm going to do the predictions again today. Whether they'll be as spot on, I don't know. But before I do that, I just want to mention a couple of things. The first thing is, I have put yesterday's afternoon highlights on a video on YouTube. So, it's really cool. Have a look at the channel. Um, it's got the results on there. Put a bit of music in, a bit of fun editing. Looks really cool. And also, I just want to say, there was three sort of standout bits from me yesterday. One, I think, um, Barry Vampire was brave. I think him getting through that, not just getting through the match, but to win it in the way he did... I thought was awesome. Um, so I'm wishing him lucky, uh, luck again for today because obviously with dark eye is, is, well, I can't imagine what it must be like. It must be horrendous. But for him to get through that on stage and get a win against Whitlock was amazing. I think that I was shocked by um, Durham, not how good he was, but how how he brushed Peter Wright to the side yesterday. I know Wright missed a few doubles and different things, but again, was a, was a really good match and I thought he was awesome. And now, to be honest with you, I'm changing a firm of minds from my group predictions. I think that he probably will go through, Darren. And last but not least, I thought Menzies was a character. Thought here, Cameron Menzies was awesome. I thought he was bloody brilliant. And I, I like to see it. And I'm really looking forward to his game and seeing him on stage again today. So what I'm now going to do is go through today's predictions. I haven't got long because so I need to get this online. So if I get it online afterwards, you guys are going to say to me, it's already bloody started, which it, it would have done. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to run through these and I want you guys to let me know at the end and get involved what you think to them. So we're starting off here. The first game of the day is between Jeffrey Dezwan and Scott Mitchell. I think that I'm going to go for this one. It's going to be a close game, but I think Jeffrey's going to win this one 5-4. Then we've got James Wilson against Mark McGinney. I think Mark really struggled yesterday, if I'm being honest. Um, James had a disaster on some of his doubles, but I think that he will come through this one 5-3. Now, I know what you're all going to say here, guys, because, yes, I'm a huge Corey Cadby fan, but I think he is really out of sorts. I don't know whether some of the antics and some of the stuff he's doing at the moment is affecting his game, and rather than knuckling down and playing what he should be doing, he isn't. And for that reason, I think that Peter Wright will win this one today, 5-3. The Wizard Whitlock really struggled yesterday against Barry Van Peer, um, but I think that he'll pick that up today. Loved Cameron Menzies, as I said earlier, but I think that Whitlock will come through this one, 5-4. Sulevich and Smith both had wins yesterday, but as reliable as he is, very rarely off nowadays, I think Mincer comes through this one, and he'll beat Smith, 5-3. Then we've got Gary Anderson, the flying Scotsman. Um, I think that he could be affected by Barry Van Peer's you know, issues with, with playing slow at the moment and different things. But I think he will know about this from yesterday's game. So I can't see any other winner here than Anderson. And I think he's going to win this one, 5-1. Then we've got Chuck Norris against Glenn, Glenn Durrant. Glenn, for me, was the standout performance yesterday. I thought he was awesome. Every complaint about level again, I'm not sure. Norris obviously got over the line against Cadby with a 5-4 win. But I'm going to put Durrant to win this one, 5-3. Then we've got Chizzy Chisel against Stephen Bunton. Again, both winners yesterday. I think that Chisnel will edge this one, and he will beat Bunton 5-4. Then we've got Joe Mernon against Ross Montgomery. Uh, tough one to call this one for me. I don't know. I, I think that Ross, I'm going to go for Ross on this one. I think he'll beat Joe today 5-4. Then we've got Darren Webster against Danny Noppet. I think that Webster wasn't amazing yesterday. Obviously lost to Mark Webster. Uh, I'm going to go for a Danny Noppet win here, and I think he's going to go through this one, 5-4. Steve Lennon against Jamie Hughes. Steve, uh, tough one here again, but I think, I don't know what it is with this one, but I've got a feeling that Steve Lennon is going to beat Jamie Hughes today, 5-3. Next up, we've got the Machine James Wade. He's having a nightmare at the moment, absolute nightmare. I don't know what's going on there with him. Uh, but I think that he will get it together. I think he needs to get it together for his own sake. But I think today that he's going to have to, and I think he'll beat. I think he'll beat Peter five three. Then we've got Daryl Gurney super chin against Webby Webster. Uh, both played well yesterday. Both coming through and winning. 
But I think that Daryl Gurney has just got that score and power. And I think his Dublin's really good at the minute. And I think that he'll see Webb's draw a 5-3. Then we've got Taylor against Robbie Green. Robbie Green did win, but I don't think personally that it's going to be any contest for Taylor because I think Taylor's going to go out on a high. And as I said yesterday, it wouldn't surprise me if Taylor do not go all the way. He will win this one, 5-1. One. MVG against Rob Cross. Love everything about Rob Cross. He's doing amazing. But can anybody do anything with MGV at the moment? I don't think so. I can't see anybody stopping him. I think he'll win it, 5-3. Then we've got Raymond Van Barneveld against Gerwin Price. Last game of the night. Price looked bloody awesome yesterday. I don't often give him the credit that he deserves, probably, at times. Um, but there's uh, something about Barney. He always seems to be able to do it. And I think that Barney will win this one 5-3. So these are my predictions, guys. What do you guys think? Am I spot on? Am I a mile off? Am I talking rubbish? I don't know. Leave comments. Uh, don't forget to follow my channel. We've got some really cool stuff on YouTube. The channel's very, very new, but already we're getting lots of views. And if you've not joined dartscommunity.com yet, join it and get involved. We're going to have loads of freebies coming soon. And just to let you guys know, I've just had um, an interview with Chris Mason. So Mace the Ace, bloody legend, that guy, is going to be uploaded onto the website very soon. So with, with all his answers and different things. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.